好去到二零二三年嘅第廿五条 M C 啦，头先嗰条题目咧就三成几同学答啱，呢题咧接住个故事啦，就得四成七嘅同学答啱，都未够一半啊！咁我哋嚟继续嚟睇下嗰个咧外来植物物种去到本地植物花园嘅时候发生嘅事干咯。咁题目就问翻我哋啦，下面边一个咧系最适当嘅解释，去解释翻咧呢个外来嘅植物物种去到本地植物公园之后咧，佢哋嗰个花瓣嘅长度嘅变化。咁啊，俾翻呢两幅图大家先。咁你發現得到啦，喺第一代同埋十代之後咧，其實成條 curve 咧，佢係喐咗嘅。頭先我哋大約都講過噶啦，啊喺第一代嘅時候咧，咁啊大部分嘅植物啦，佢哋都能夠顯現得到一個四 cm 嘅誒長嘅花瓣啦。咁啊，但係十代之後咧，你就會發現得到啦，較為多嘅植物咧，佢係能夠顯示到五 cm 嘅植物花瓣喎。咁反而啦，呢個二 cm 咧，直頭已經唔見咗啦。啊，咁啊園丁先發現啦，咦？普遍嚟講，全部花咧都好似變得大多咗喎。咁其實成條題目啦，考緊我哋咩嘅概念咧？就係、是、啦，環境因素對於個基因變異有啲咩嘅影響咧？一個大嘅花瓣有咩嘅功能，或者花瓣有咩功能先啦？同埋啦，有一個大啲嘅花瓣，對於棵植物啦，係能夠俾個自然界選擇。有啲咩嘅重要性，有啲咩嘅好處呢？你有大啲嘅花瓣，我就要揀你㗎喇咩？當中嘅原因，當中嘅邏輯又係如何呢？咁我哋嚟做一擊破喇喎。第一句呢，我就講啦，大啲嘅花呢，咁啊因為啦，嗰、那個花呢，能夠產生幾多花物呢？係取決於佢個物線，因為花物係由物線所整嘅，就唔係花瓣所整嘅，就唔係花瓣所整嘅。雖然花瓣嘅底部。就係、是、個物線花瓣啊，佢係俾啲昆蟲咧望到一條望到一條花物線咧，就引佢落去就採花物嘅啫。咁但係花瓣大細同花物多少係冇關係嘅。第二啦，就係、是、本地嘅氣候咧，係有利於呢一個植物物種嘅成長嘅。咁其實呢句都係錯嘅。最關鍵嘅概念咧，就係、是、因為呢一個植物物種佢係外來嘅物種嚟嘅。如果呢個本地嘅氣候，已經係有利佢成長嘅話啦，係解釋唔到俾我哋聽點解佢個花瓣嘅長度會變化，啱唔啱都已經有利你成長咯，其實你係可以不變噶嘛，咁點解你要變呢？仲要全部一齊變喎，係咪？咁所二三五四，咁所以啦，我哋係不能夠知道個花瓣咧點解會因為個本地氣候有利於佢而即係二三而有所增二一二三四而有所增加嘅。相反啦，如果有二三咁相反啦，如果呢個咁嘅植物物種，喂嚟到本地氣候真係有利佢成長喎。實質我哋能夠睇到嘅咩嘢呢？係應該佢哋嗰個族群嘅大細，佢哋嘅 population size 咧，應該係增加咗先真。但係佢朵花有冇大到呢？我哋呢係不得而知嘅。而咁啦，去到 C 嗰句喎，本地嘅昆蟲呢，就俾一啲大啲嘅花瓣呢，就吸引到啦。呢句就為正確啦。咁啊，因為啦，喺呢個植物物種入面，本身都已經一定係有呢個花瓣長度嘅變異㗎啦，係嘛？你睇第一代你已經知道啦，佢唔係淨係得四 cm 㗎嘛，有啲兩 cm、三 cm、四 cm、五 cm、六 cm， 喂，咁真係有短有長㗎嘛？問題就嚟啦，長啲嘅花瓣就有機會吸引多啲嘅昆蟲去做全花粉，咁啊，因為啦。有啲一二三咁啊，因為啦喺呢個植物物種當中，有啲花咧就大塊啲嘅花瓣，咁相比起短啲嘅花瓣咧，佢哋就有機會吸引多啲嘅昆蟲去做全花粉咯。三即係朵花，即係大朵啲啊嘛，咁啊容易啲俾啲昆蟲去見得到啦，係咪？自不然啊，佢哋都有大啲嘅機會咧，去進行一個成功嘅全粉啦，同埋繁殖啦。而講到繁殖，記唔記得翻我哋講演化講物種形成嗰一句啊？記唔記得我哋之前講嘅自然選擇啊 ？Natural selection， 你可以生存，你可以繁殖，然後將你嘅特性傳俾下一代。咁嗰啲大塊啲花瓣嘅植物咪可以繁衍多啲咯，細塊啲花瓣嘅植物佢哋咪冇咁容易去繁衍咯。所以呢句咧就係、是、答案啦。咁有啲體育精神搞掂埋個 D 句啦 ，D 句就講啦，突變係發生咗啊，兼且累積咗，累積咗十代啦。所以啲花就變得大朵咗啦。呢句本身係錯，不過佢係好強勁嘅干擾答案。因為啦，突變我哋學過嘅，突變有分自發突變同埋有發突變。無論邊款突變都好，突變係會發生，就係、是、會發生，而佢都真係有機會累積嘅。但係啦，你二三，但係啦，呢、这個突變其實佢係有機會令到佢變短或者變長噶嘛。
但係呢一條題目佢講到明，喂，真係變長咗喎！佢哋嗰個平均嘅長度啊，或者總體嘅長度係長咗，佢真係成個圖呢，移咗去右手邊㗎喎。咁所以其實呢一句呢，佢好難解話嘅，因為啦，你特別係會發生。咁但係點解啦？佢唔會整咗啲再短啲或者再長啲呢，令到成條 curve 呢，有機會呢變成一個一到七都有晒呢。而係成條 curve 一齊向右行咧，總體嘅長度咧係由四 cm 變成五 cm， 咁再長啲咧係可以長到七 cm 添。二 cm 已經唔見咗啦，三 cm 去到七 cm， 咦七 cm 出埋嚟添喎。咁呢一樣嘢咧都係齋講，我特別會發生咯，特別會累積咯，就解釋得到佢係不盡不實嘅。所以我哋就發現呢句説話不盡不實啦。喂，係係有特別，但係你點樣解釋得到佢一定係變長啫？唔俾變短嘅咩？咁你就企咗喺度答唔到人哋啦。其實呢條題目呢，講嗰啲咩大啲嘅花瓣啊，細啲嘅花瓣呢，其實同我哋二零二二年第十條嘅長題差不多㗎咋。記唔記得我哋講一啲花呢，就係、是、有顏色，但係冇乜香味嘅；有另一啲花呢，就係冇顏色，不過有淡淡嘅花香嘅。咁其實呢個就導致到啲昆蟲點樣選擇佢啦嘛。Two to three question twenty five. We are still talking about the foreign plant species being introduced to the local garden. So last question, only thirty something percent student got it correct. So this time, seventy four percent of student got it correct. Let's continue the story. Which of the following is the most probable explanation for the change in the petal length of these plant species? So for the whole question is showing that. So from the first generation after ten generation, the overall length of the petals increase a bit. So from four cm to five cm. So you can see that the whole curve moving to the right hand side become a bit longer. And for the two cm, they disappear, right? So which one is the most probable explanation? So let's take a look at it one by one. So option A, larger flowers produce more nectar. Actually, this statement is wrong because nectar is produced by the nectaries, but not the petals. So we cannot say that all、oh, larger flowers produce more nectar. No, no, no. It really depends on the development of the nectaries rather than the petals. Therefore, option A is wrong. And then for option B, the local climate favor the growth of these plant species. This option is also wrong. The critical idea is that. The plant species is a foreign species. So, what if this local climate really favor the growth of this plant species? So, it would not need to change of the petal length at all because the foreign species they come to the new habitat and they find that oh, this habitat is so good, even much better than my original habitat. Therefore, it cannot explain that why the petals become bigger. Yeah, but one thing we can consider is that what if the local climate really favor the growth of these plant species? So what can we see? We can see that the population size of these types of plant species it will increase okay, because they can survive and reproduce better.、Okay. So for these two statement is checking us the concept about the effect of the environmental factor on the genetic variation, and also the function of the larger petals, or even just a petal, and the importance of having larger petals for being selected in the nature. So you need to recall that for the petals, there are the guidelines to lead the insect to the nectaries to get the nectar. However, how much nectar can the flower produce? It's not related to the size of the petals. So let's take a look at option C. Local insects are attracted by flower with longer petals. This statement is correct. There is something. There is always variation of the petal length within the plant populations, and the plants with longer petals will attract more insects for pollination than the plants with shorter petals do. Therefore, they have higher chance. For successful pollination and reproduction, so recall the concept of the evolution, natural selection, speciation. Says we always say that the individual with the favorable characteristic, they have high chance to survive, to reproduce, and pass the favorable characteristic to next generation. So in this case, the plants with longer petals. 
can pass the longer petals characteristic to next generation. Therefore, the population size of the plants with longer petals will increase. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. And for option D, mutations occur and accumulate throughout the 10 generation. So this statement is wrong. However, it is a powerful distractor. So because mutation, they really occur no matter is the spontaneous mutation or induced mutation, they can really take place. They can also accumulate. However, the mutation can possibly need to shorter or longer petals length. However, this statement cannot explain the increasing of the overall or the average petal length. Because for the mutation, it may produce some shorter petal length or longer petal length to make the whole curve be like this. However, now the whole curve is moving to the right hand side overall become longer so how can you explain that why the mutation it just need to the longer petal length but not the shorter one therefore option d is not comprehensive enough to explain this phenomenon so actually for this question about the longer petals and shorter petals it's just like the 222 paper 1b question 10 remember in this question um, some far uh, the petals they have color however there is no smell no scent of the flower however another type of flower is not that brightly colored however they have the scent so the insect can smell them right so it is also something so it shows you the way that so it shows you the way that how can the flower the plants attract the insect and it's also a way for the natural selection